Well, hi guys, uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how we handle the plunger in Pinball United. Um, I'm, here I'm gonna describe you just the, basically the setup that I used. It's an arc cabinet I built on my own. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. You can, uh, I can put the link if you want on the video description. Um, so I modified it um, to be able to play pinball here with two flippers buttons on the sides and here a plunger uh, so as you can see it's a real plunger from a real pinball it's a Gottlieb one and uh, I interfaced it using an Arduino board which I can commercialize once I will um, add um, the nudge, a nudge system <coughs> so let me let me know if you are interested in this kind of devices for your own cabinet. Um, so here we go. Uh, well, um, in Pinball United we can use three kind of input for plunger handling. So first is a regular key. So as the like the buttons or a keyboard key. <coughs> uh, here on X Arcade, I will use this one, for example. Um, I will use also in this video to show you a regular gamepad here on Xbox One, um, and uh, also uh, the plunger I interfaced on my own. Well, so in Pinball, Pinball United, when you have to customize input for plunger or inputs. Uh, in general, uh, you have this kind of interface where you have multiple input possible for each command, so uh, basic commands like flipper commands, plunger, and so on, and a uh, complex one uh, like nudge, uh, which are analogic. Um, as you can see here, by default, plunger is bind to the key, return key, okay, and we can change it easily by pressing uh, just by pressing the the button and here we can press well the given button um, here V key because this key is bound to key to V using XRCAD cabinet and so uh, I will just change the camera angle to see easily. Um, then, when I press it, okay, you see the plunger is going back and forth. Okay, when I release, it, it will launch the key. So, let's launch the ball. And okay. So, of course, if I press and release quickly, the ball will not go far. But if I press further, the force is higher. Well, we can see here that it's not uh, fast enough for the, for the plunger, so we can tweak it here using the sensitivity. Alright, let's say one. So normally it should go uh, twice faster Indeed. okay so this is uh, the basic setup using the key binding on the plunger uh, the second one I want to show you is uh, the regular gamepad so I'm gonna configure it here I just click on uh, adding a plunger positive axis and I click here and the same for the negative one here well negative is not uh, really useful for this example but you can do it and let me show you how this works let's plunger a key the ball okay. Okay, here again it's really sensitive so 
Uh, we can change the sensitivity. Let's say 0 0.4. And then, well, it's a little bit low, but you got the idea. Okay, so now for the plunger. Same, we can change inputs. And we push for the negative axis. You will see what it, it is used for. Then let's use a key, well as you can see I can move it, release and of course the farther I go the stronger the ball will be kicked right, slow and fast right and uh, using this kind of device we can uh, do what we call uh, force force plunger so this is it basically, as you can do in real in real pinballs, and so of course push a little. The ball is not going far, and push harder, and the ball is going. Really far. Well, that's it for this plunger. Thank you for watching.